संपूर्ण विद्यार्थी भाई बहनी आज फेरी मजिक शिक्षक को हैसियत ले भूगोल पाठ भिता पर्ने हमी विभिन्न हावापानी क्षेत्र को बारे में चर्चा कर आज मुख्यगरी पोलर पोलर जोन को बारे में हमी चर्चा करना गई रहेगा सों विद्यार्थी भाई बनी औरों तो पहले कापी कलम ले रहा बस नो वाला बीगत का कक्षा औरों जहीं आज अपनी हमें ले पोलर जोन को बारे में विस्तृत रूप में विशेष गरी लोकेशन यो कहाँ अवस्थित था तेस्ते गरी यहाँ कस्तु खाल का हवा पानी पाएं इंसा रा यहाँ कस्ता खाल का बनस्पति औरों वेजिटेशन औरों और संग संग यहाँ बस बस करने मानी सोर ले के कस्ता जीव को पार्जन कसरी गरी रहेगा सन भन्नी को राला हमें ले आजा चर्चा करने चो ओके कम तू द पॉइंट स्टूडेंट्स पोलर जोन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल द पोलर जोन लाइज एक जग लोकेशन यू सी आई हैव ड्रॉन यर द फिगर अ मॉडल ऑफ़ द अर्थ देयर आर सम ऑफ़ द मेजर लैटिट्यूड्स आई हैव ड्रॉन सो अमंग देम वे डिस्कस आर्लियर क्या बात कंटिन्यू यस वे डिस्कस आर्लियर अबाउट द ट्रॉपिकल जोन व्हिच लाइज इन बिटवीन जीरो टू थर्टी देन एवरेज ओके एंड अगेन जस्ट अबाउट द थर्टी टू सिक्सटी वे डिस्कस एज अ टेम्परेट जोन now today come to the point in the polar zone. So the shaded portions here in the globe, both in the northern and southern hemispheres, these two shaded portions are popularly known as the polar zone, or in Nepali, Sith Mandal. So low uh, latitude differences between, uh, but both uh, these zones also lies in uh, northern and southern hemisphere. Up to 60 to 90 degree latitudes. This is the location. Now, where, where is the uh, latitudinal variations? You look at the, okay, you uh, students, uh, first of all, you must be remember the polar zone, it is also popularly known as the frigid or cold zones. Okay. Polar zone also popularly known as the frigid or cold zones and the extent uh, between 60 to 90 degree latitude of both northern and southern hemispheres. Then due to the inclination of the earth axis, okay, the inclination positions when it rotate itself or revolve around the sun, the polar uh, region the sunlight does not reach the surface of these zones in the winter. There is long winters and remain dark all around the year. In the similar way, human life is very difficult due to the extreme coldness. So, how we have discussed earlier here about the another climatic regions in comparison to the those climatic region polar zone there is very thinly populated here and life is very di difficult because of the extreme cold. Okay. See the map of the world. Okay. You see in the map just northern and southern tip, the pink color shaded portions. The pink color shaded portions they are mentioned about the polar zone which are the areas comes under the polar zone in the different continent, seven different continent, the southern polar zone is commonly called the Antarctica regions, almost all the Antarctica regions lies in the southern polar zones and in the northern hemisphere, you see there, so North America, Greenland, uh, which is also part of the North America. Uh, northern most part of the Europe 
and northernmost part of the Asia. So this is about the location of polar zone or frigid zone or we can also say it is cold zones. Then proceed to the another among these uh, three polar zones now students uh, first of all uh, you, mu uh, you must be remember here also we can find three different types of the uh, climatic regions. These areas also we can categorize into three different types of the climatic regions. So, among these three number A the Siberian climatic region, Siberian climatic region also known as the taiga climate and location of Siberian climatic regions uh, you see there it almost lies in between 60 to 70 degree latitude in the northern hemispheres. Only northern you must remember this uh, Siberian climate or taiga it lies only in the northern hemisphere not in the southern hemisphere. Okay. Because uh, uh, the Siberia is the large area middle uh, part of this uh, Russia, middest part of this Russia and the northernmost part of Russia, the Siberian plains. In the southern Alaska, it is the part of USA just in the northernmost Alaska region, southern Canada. These are the areas which falls under the and northern part of the uh, some part of the Scandinavia region as well, some eastern country. So, what is taiga? Yeah, taiga especially this area also commonly called the taiga because uh, taiga is the name of the large vegetative belt. It is the largest vegetative evergreen uh, coniferous forest called taiga, which is found in the northern part of Siberia in these regions. So, sometimes the questions also ask like that what is taiga? Taiga means largest evergreen coniferous forest which is found in the southern part of Canada, southern part of Alaska and uh, some southern part of Russia as well as some of the countries of Scandinavian countries of the Europe. So, this is about the location of Siberian climate. Now, you might be clear about this. Now, again, let us proceed the climatic conditions. Which type of the climate is found in the Siberian uh, climate or taiga? We can also say taiga. So, generally, the summers are very short, slightly warm, but the winters are long and severely cold. Why? Because of the inclination position of the earth. Very less amount of the heat rays of the sun Okay, falls under this uh, North Pole and South Pole. That is why there are long winters and short summers. Summer seasons are very short, 3 4 months, and winters 8 9 months, okay, according to the place, location of different continent. The summer lasts just for 4 months, but winter remains around 8 months with the temperature below freezing point most of the time. Winter season the temperature sometimes goes some of the areas minus 45 degrees Celsius. You see, because of that, it is very difficult for the human settlement. Large area occupied um, by the winter seasons and the climate is extremely cold, the not suitable for the human settlement as well as for the different types of the wild living creatures. Or some of the water portion remain in the frozen states here, the rivers or ocean, Arctic ocean regions. Sometimes this water portion are also frozen because of extreme cold, and nearby the coastal areas of the continent, rainfall is mainly cyclonic, about 40 centimeter annually. The in winter it takes place in the form of snow. There is no rainfall. As well as the average summer temperature is 8 degree centigrade only. Yes? 8 degree. Now imagine Kalpana Gonus, Tapkaram, 8 degree Celsius summer, Jarika Ostama, 
हमी कस्तो अनुभव कर सीमिलर टाइप अफ द क्लाइमेट अफ द हिमालयन रिजन्स इन द विंटर सीजन्स लार्ज एरिया वेरी एक्सट्रीम कोल्ड द एवरेज समर टेम्परेचर ओनली एट डिग्री सेंटिग्रेड एंड इन विंटर्स द टेम्परेचर्स फॉल्स डाउन बिलो फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस समवेयर इट मे बी माइनस ट्वेंटी समवेयर माइनस थर्टी एंड द प्लेस भर्खोयांग्स इन रशिया टिल नाउ इट इज रेकॉर्डेड द भर्खोयांग्स इज द कोल्डेस्ट प्लेस अफ द वर्ल्ड विच लाइज इन द साइबेन प्लेन्स कल भर्खोयांग्स दैट इज टेम्परेचर्स फॉल्स डाउन माइनस फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस इन दिस साइबेन क्लाइमेट सो दिस इज द कंडीशन द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन अफ द टाइगा क्लाइमेट रिजन्स एंड वाट टाइप्स अफ द भेजिटेशन ना लेट्स पर्सिव द भेजिटेशन विच टाइप अफ द भेजिटेशन फाउंड इन द टाइगा रिजन्स लुक एट द स्लाइड्स द पिक्चर्स टल पाइन ट्रीज सम अफ द एब पिक्चर्स यर सोइंग एज ए दर स्नो फॉल्स अकर्स दे आर जस्ट बिलो फिर ट्रीज ओके सो दिस टाइप्स अफ द भेजिटेशन मोस्ट अफ द एरियाज कवर्ड बाई इन द साउदर्न पार्ट अफ कैनाडा साउदर्न पार्ट अफ अलास्का विच इज कमनली कल टाइगा एक्चुअली इट इज द लार्जेस्ट भेजि कनीफोरस भेजिटेटिव बेल्ट अफ द वर्ल्ड टाइगा इज द लार्जेस्ट कनीफोरस भेजिटेटिव बेल्ट सो हमी एवरग्रीन फरेस्ट के बारे में अस्त जो एमेजन फरेस्ट कस्त खाल इक्विटल रेन फरेस्ट हो बट हियर इज अल्सो द इन द पोलर रिजन कनीफोरेस्ट एवरग्रीन फरेस्ट विच इज पपुलरली नोन इज द टाइगा यू हेव टू रिमेम्बर जस्ट फ्रम अलास्का इन द वेस्ट टू इस्टर्न पार्ट अफ रशिया अलास्का टू रशिया दिस बेल्ट ग्रीनरी बेल्ट द टाइगर फरेस्ट कवर मोर दैन सिक्सटी पर्सेंट टोटल पार्ट मीन अलमोस्ट दी एरिया ऑकुपेटेड बाय द टाइगर फरेस्ट एंड दिस टाइप्स ऑफ द ट्रीज आर फिश विच आर द स्पीसीज अफ द ट्रीज कम्स अंडर द टाइगर फरेस्ट लुक एट दियर फिर पाइन स्पोर्ट्स मेपल सेडर्स सो दिस टाइप्स ऑफ भेराइटीज अफ द ट्रीज ऑल्सो फाउंड इन द हिमालयन रिजन अफ नेपाल so we are very rich in the natural resources among the different climatic region of the world nepal also experience the nine different types of the climatic condition because of the altitude variations in nepal as well so in terms of that we can say our country is very rich you see the polar climatic condition also found in nepal as well isn't it yes it is very interesting so major types of trees are which type of trees of himalayan fir pine spruce that is the concept why it is uh, how it become the concept because there large area okay covered by the snow up to long winters so to shape out to adopt themselves the branches are short and needle shaped leaves under such conditions they adopt themselves in such type of the severe climatic conditions uh, some of the shallow roots absorb abundant water from the soils even though if there is ice melting in the and rain falls so this is the largest vegetative uh, belt of the coniferous vegetative belt in the world which is probably known as a uh, taiga uh, natural vegetations now let's pursue what what types of the wildlife some although we have already discussed in our classes as well as that is a very less uh, species of the wild living creatures are found here again i am repeating here the you see the pictures there are different types of the animals showing so oh, it is lies in the polar region polar bear tapaile polar bear ko bare ma samjhiranu bha hola thulo giant structures the extremity of the coldness save the shortage of food resources few animals are found in the this regions so because of severe climatic conditions 
various types of the animals or birds are unable to survive, but some of the animals that we can found in these regions having the fur bearing animals to adapt themselves in the such type of severe climatic condition. Small fur, fur one go, janwar go, rong, chun machine khal gons. Okay, just like tapale panda, just like a bear, polar bear. You look at the pictures. Having sturdy short tails as well as an ears make the habit primarily. Squirrel, bears, mox deers, minks, lynx, moose, elk. These are the picture. These types of the animal that we can found in the Siberian climate or taiga forest regions. So, they adapt themselves in such of the climatic condition because of they have the special characteristic to adapt themselves. Some snakes also red setter garter snakes is a picture just below. You see they go very deep inside the okay, layer of the earth and adapt the severe climatic conditions. So, these types of the wild animals are commonly found which are having the characteristics of the fur. Let us proceed to the another uh, conditions uh, of this uh, polar region, Siberian climate about the people, human lifestyles. So, how human beings they were surviving in this climatic region. Okay? Now, come to the point about the human lifestyle. Although this climatic regions almost lies in the northern part of the hemisphere, only lies in the northern hemisphere called taiga forest. Because of presence of the taiga forest, it is very much suitable for the lumbering activities. So, what is lumbering? Now, can you remember? What is lumbering? We have discussed earlier as well. The uh, agriculture is not possible because of unfavorable climate condition, extreme coldness. There is no large uh, areas, uh, um, okay, fertile uh, plains we cannot found there. So, uh, eight, nine months snow covered lands, okay, very short summers. Because of that, people are involved in the lumbering. Why? So, th because of largest area covered by the which type of the forest? Coniferous, evergreen coniferous forest. The picture showing the paper industries, paper making industries there. Some of the indigenous Americans mostly live in the hunting, fishing, or trapping fur bearing animals doing fur trade, which is very much useful for making the different types of the okay, uh, fur cap, pearls, like that. Though this is uh, required for the people who live in the polar regions. So, they have started practicing lumbering and other economic activities due to the advancement of the science and technology. Nowadays, people are involving by they are cutting the trees, clearing forest, and sending to the uh, papers and pulp industries. They use the modern technology, modern sophisticated technology, automatic run saw, okay? loader, such so, type of the vehicles they use and they clear make the logs of the soft wood uh, trees taiga and this is the one of the important industrial activities of the people who live in this uh, taiga region or siberian regions you know that uh, canada it is one of the largest manufacturer of the new sprint canada in the world why because of availability of the, the soft wood, evergreen coniferous forest. So, people are involving in the paper and pulp industries. As well as the, the timbers are also used for making toy, soft wood, furniture, doors, window, plywood, match sticks or fruits and vegetable packed box. The students nowadays, the students are very much fond to play the cricket. You know cricket? 
the cricket bat which types of the wood is used to make the cricket bat willow yes that willow is most commonly found in the this types of the climate that is not mentioned here even though you need to remember here the people are also collect the medicinal herbs and carry out the different types of the trade and business so paper and pulp industries is the one of the major occupation of the people of this region generally uh, the people they are migrating from the temperate region and taiga belt also uh, very much popular for the deposition of the different types of the minerals coal iron iron ore bauxite asbestos such types of the minerals are also abundantly deposited inside the beneath of the taiga forest so because of that canada is most developed by extraction of such type of the minerals from the taiga regions so we have discussed here about the siberian climate which is found in the polar region let's proceed to the next types of the climate which is found in this uh, polar region number 1 what we have discussed here siberian that is also called taiga okay number 2 tundra climate okay tundra so where is the location of tundra climate just above the siberian regions after 70 to 90 northern most part of the northern hemispheres and southern hemisphere also somewhere so this regions lies between 70 to 90 degree latitude in the northern hemisphere of the earth that is called the tundra climate okay the major location of this uh, part, types of the climates uh, mostly also the northernmost part of the canada northernmost part of the alaska and scandinavia region of europe okay that is a shaded portions of the continent you see in the northernmost part of the different continent uh, some southern part of the greenland iceland as well as in russia so such types of the climate which is found in the uh, northern hemispheres only which is popularly known as the tundra climate so it is called in nepali dhurviya kshetra also mention here tundra location of the tundra climate 70 to 90 degree in the northernmost part of the polar regions it is also called the dhurviya kshetra in nepali so location now you see is scandinavia region the student might be confused about that this is the northernmost part of the europe which are the countries lies in the scandinavia regions like norway sweden denmark finland Ice. these are the scandinavia countries five countries uh, actually there and that not almost the all the scandinavian countries uh, of the europe uh, south uh, northernmost part of the scandinavian countries of the europe this is the location of this uh, tundra climate now come to the point about the climatic conditions of the tundra climate what types of the climate student you see the pictures large area covered by the permanent ice very less vegetations there okay 
look at the large area covered with the permanent ice. The oceans are also frozen stage. So, the climate is severely cold throughout the year as the temperature mostly remain below freezing point that is why oceans are also in the freezing states arctic oceans okay in the part of the arctic oceans huge icebergs floating ice iceberg which is popularly known as the icebergs the summer temperature goes around minus 2 to 5 degrees centigrade in this tundra climate you see the conditions of the summer temperature and in the winter the temperatures falls below minus 50 degree somewhere. So, winter also last about 9 months very short summers according to the location or coastal areas of this region also having little amount of the rainfall scanty rainfall the rainfall in forms of the snowfalls that is not rain. The summer pressure remain only 25 centimeter you see very scanty rainfall uh, because of severe cold there is heavily snowfalls and the pictures indicating there ok it is also large area landmass covered by the snow as well as the water bodies are also freezing point and there is the iceberg floating icebergs the arctic regions uh, are also frozen which lies in the northern tip of the uh, hemispheres in the northern part. This is the reason why calling this climate is in cold desert as well. Very less vegetations climate is not suitable for the growth of vegetations it is not possible very short summer only 3 to 4 months most slanting rays of the sun receive in northern tip we can say by chance also very cold throughout the year. So, this types of the climatic condition found in the tundra climates. So, what types of the if we talk about the vegetation somewhere you see the vegetation in the figure look at the picture here short uh, grasses flowering plants are there in the short summer in the somewhere nearby the coastal areas or lower altitude of this polar uh, tundra climate the russian world that refers to the flat wet and treeless plain of the arctic and sub arctic region it is almost very limited vegetations 8 9 months permanently snow covered but 3 4 months such that the very short flowering plants and somewhere like in mosses fungus this varieties of the vegetations is mostly found in tundra climate okay jasari am nepali ma leu jeu bhancha uh, lichen, fungus. In summer, some flowering plants, herbs grow when snow melts, but they die again in the winters. Again, this area covered by the permanent snow. Southern part support the southern part support the growth, uh, and some dwarfless trees and shrubs like willow, breeches, and juniper also in the lowland area in the tundra climate also we can also found in these regions. So, this is all about the vegetation that is found in the tundra climate. So, which type of the vegetations you might have noted in your copies. Now, what is the wildlife? Now, you see the picture tundra animals. Okay? Though severely cold, the region is not poor for very um, not poor for the wildlife, hundreds of aquatic and aquatic animals aquatic birds and animals found in long coastal parts of this climatic regions. So, generally in the polar region the pictures of polar bear the giant structures of the polar bear the fur covered bodies fatty ok flash the skin supported the fats 
because of that they adopt themselves in such type of severe climatic conditions. They have dense furs and thick layer of fat to keep themselves warm. How they survive? How the animals of the tundra climate survive? Because of having the such type of the character. Which type of the characteristics you see? Dense fur and thick layer of fat. Look at the polar bear. Penguins. Sealfish. Okay? Some are birds. These are the animals which is found in the tundra climate. The polar bear, polar dog, mox, ox, arctic fox, reindeer, wolf. The varieties of the animals in the few, not uh, found in the abundantly, very few in numbers because of the severe climatic conditions. Okay, the flesh like uh, seal and whales are uh, fishes, sorry. The fishes, which type of the fishes are found in the, you see, seal fish or whale in the Arctic Oceans, around the coastal areas of the Arctic Oceans, whales also found. And flightless, unna nasak nichara, birds like penguins, penguins. The penguins are also found abundantly, especially in the Antarctica also, but it is also found in the Arctic regions as well. So, most of the species of the birds are migrate to the other parts temporarily in winter to escape from the bitter cold. The birds which is uh, found in these regions in the short summer season, we can also observe them. Okay, we can found such a birds, but during severe climatic regions, it is uh, they migrated temporarily to the another lower altitude or another regions. Now, which type of the peoples are mostly live in this tundra climate? You see the picture. Okay. Look at the figure. So, human lifestyle of the people of tundra climates. What, is, uh, what, uh, what are their customs? What types of customs they are wearing there? So, some native tribes settle in these regions as wonders, very interesting peoples. Okay. They have the uh, giant uh, body structure, but short peoples, not very tall. They have high stamina to tackle the extreme cold of the climate and adapt themselves of such environment. These indigenous people are called Inuits in Canada, Eskimos in Alaska, region of North America, Laps in Scandinavian regions. So, these are the tribal group of the tundra climatic regions. So, who are the tribal group? Inuits in the Canada, Eskimos in the Alaska, Laps in Scandinavia. So, these are the tribals, but they adopt themselves in such type of climatic conditions and their life is also very difficult. They are in nomad in nature, nomad, they do not live in the permanently in the certain place. Okay, they are moving one place to another place in search of the food for their survival, hunting uh, uh, to, uh, polar animals there like seal fish, whales, fishes. Okay, the major occupation you see they are hunting the generally the polar animals and fishing the from the you make the, the persons uh, making hole just uh, okay living uh, in the sitting in the frozen ice uh, above the arctic uh, uh, oceans and how they are uh, fishing that activities you see in the pictures but they are traditional weapons which is uh, which is called the harpoons in the ancient time but nowadays they are using the modern equipments so, they live by fishing and hunting furry animals for food, clothes and shelters. Let us proceed to another activities of the people of this uh, tundra climate. So, the people of these regions, nowadays their life become changing. Okay? They are uh, traditionally, they are uh, in nomad in nature, but nowadays they are permanently settled just nearby the taiga regions also. Uh, and uh, uh, earlier they used uh, some of the animals uh, for the transportation, but nowadays modern uh, 
uh, slide motorbikes uh, and other machines for transportation purposes. But earlier they used the uh, reindeers and fox, uh, polar dogs for their transportation purposes by the tundra peoples. So this is uh, all about their lifestyles of the tundra climates. Let's proceed to the another uh, climatic uh, conditions that climate which is found in the polar region, especially in the southern hemispheres. Before uh, proceed to this, you see the people uh, house which is made of the block of the ice. Again, uh, Inuits uh, in summer make a tent house called tupics by using the skin of bones and uh, leather of the seal fish skin, the down pictures. The traditional house called tupics, but nowadays, in place of their uh, the house is made of the made up by the uh, bone and skin of the seal. They are using the modern tents, which is make up made up of the fibers by modern technologies. The another traditional house, which is most commonly known as the igloo, you see the figure, just dome shape, and entering door very short height okay only three four feet only they crawl themselves and go inside during the extreme winter seasons the house is made of the ice block which is called igloo so sometimes also it is asked like what is igloo what is tupic okay. the people of polar region also uh, keep the animals polar dogs and reindeer for use of transportation i have discussed the transportation problem, which type of animals they used to keep with them? Polar dogs okay, and reindeers. However, with the advance of the science and technology, the way of living of the people are gradually changing. They are living permanently in the modern tent house or make the cozy um, rooms by the, uh, with the help of the different types of the um, coniferous uh, forest wood. Permanently also nowadays they used to uh, settle in the certain places. They have started living in the wooden houses uh, with modern clothes wearing and uh, working in loom wearing and other offices in this northern polar belt as well. So, what are the major occupation of these regions? That is there is no uh, uh, possibility to the agriculture because of that they are catching the fish, hunting animals for their survival or they are trading the animal fur. So, fur is used for make, uh, used for different purposes okay, to make the soft cloth as well. Let us proceed to the another climate which is found in this Antarctic uh, climate here, 3 number. Antarctic climate. So, this Antarctic climate, you see the map in the southern hemisphere written there Antarctic. So, these types of the climate um, only found in the southern polar region, Antarctic climate. So, Antarctic climatic region, you see latitudinal location and areas of the Antarctic climatic region just 66.5 to 90 degree in the southern hemisphere only. Where it is found? From 66.5 to 90 degree in the southern hemisphere only the Antarctic climate, that is the Antarctica continent. The almost the continent occupied by the Antarctic climate because of the, of the name of the continent as well as the climatic region name also same Antarctic climate. So, that is the location. Now, you think about this, this the, which continent there is the absence of the permanent settlement of the human beings among the seven different continents, then if it is asked that in which continent there is no permanent settlement of the human beings that is Antarctica. So, there is no permanent settlement of the human beings. So, what is the climatic condition of Antarctic? Okay. These areas there is severe cold climatic conditions throughout the year. 
the land mass covered by the permanent snow. There is no seasonal change, always being winters and temperature goes below freezing points throughout the year. There is no land mass for the people uh, to cultivate food crops. There is no hops, no shops, no any vegetations, absence of vegetations in these regions. So, due to the uh, why this happens because of the inclinations of the earth axis. The region uh, remain dark for half of the years. Okay? So, both the land mass and water bodies, water portions are frozen by ice, almost entirely covered by the ice sheets. You see, somewhere the water bodies also, the ice, permanent ice, the layer of the ice, you see, 4 kilometer thick layer of the earth, which is found in the Antarctic regions, 4 kilometer layer. Now imagine, 4 kilometer thick layer of the permanent ice, then how the life will be possible here? There is no possible of the life in these regions. But you see, the minus uh, 45 degree centigrade uh, temperature climatic condition is not suitable for the human beings. But these areas are also nowadays very interesting for the research work. Okay? People they visit in such places for their further research. Some of the animals they found in these regions as well as very commonly called the penguins. Okay? Life is not possible. Now proceed to the uh, lifestyle. Uh, if we talk about the lifestyle of the human beings, there is no permanent settlement in these regions. If there is permanent settlement, no permanent settlement. Life will be not possible because of the permanent frozen snow. You see the figure, they are permanently, totally okay, covered by the ice. Let us proceed to the another slides. Some of the animals, natural vegetation animal, if we discuss about this, so there is no possible of the any vegetations. Okay. So, wildlife in this uh, interior part of the continent, no any wildlife is found, but nearby the coastal areas, some of the coastal areas, however, the edge of the continent, we can find the innumerable birds and animals and fishes. See the figure, pictures, penguins, just in the center, seal fish, just below the seal fish, there is whale, blue whale the largest mammal in this planet, aquatic animals. A penguin keeps itself warm through its uh, small dense feathers, very fur type feathers, small dense feathers and seal through its thick layer of the fat. How they survive in such type of the severe climatic conditions, seal fish and the fatty layer, very Okay, fatty layer of the skins uh, keep them warm themselves, and they appear, the animals who survive in this region by catching the fish. They mostly found in nearby the coastal areas, and they catch the fish, and survive in this place. So whales are some other an aquatic animals also survive adapting diversity climatic changes. So what types of the peoples? If we talk about the human lifestyle here, let us proceed to another slide. So, I have already said that life is very difficult, not possible here. Very few people, they might reach in these regions for their further research work. Some of the people reach to make the documentaries of such penguins, seals, the aquatic animals of these regions. So, very few people, they reach by taking risks of their life. Okay. How they reach up to this continent with the help of the aircraft or ship, with the help of the ship. Since human settlement is not possible in the continent, it is not inhabited permanently. You need to remember here. Only the scientists and researchers and explorer settle temporarily research works and discoveries 
and moreover the region is also been used as a film and documentary shooting centers why people they reach there by taking risks of their life to make the film documentary pictures of the life of the animals of this continent okay now for come to the point the people visiting the regions carry out the manage all these foods and other necessary in the ship or aircraft people they reach up to there by taking the permanently they are not settled there they are carrying all the necessary goods foods clothes medicines everything for 2 3 months okay after collecting these all materials they reach there and they are making the different types of the documentaries conducting research from this region so there is no permanent settlement in this area okay students in this th polar region only three types of the climates that we have discussed today now come to the point which are the three climates siberian climates tundra climates and uh, antarctic climate so among these three climates uh, if uh, there is any queries then you can also ask with your subject teachers otherwise uh, the activities i have okay you see the activities uh, you have to try to complete these activities what is the economic uh, importance of taiga forest right in brief what is the economic importance of the taiga forest right in brief number 2 who were the native people of tundra climate now you remember who were the native people of tundra climate number 3 how do the penguins and seals survive in the arctic climate how do the penguins and seals survive in the arctic climate antarctic climate and compare the tundra climate with temperate monsoons so this is all about the today's discussions here questions one questions i accept the, the tundra climate with the temperate monsoon climate so we discuss different climatic condition in different part of the world so among these different uh, climatic conditions we can compare the lifestyle vegetation okay climatic conditions and major economic activities of the people of different climatic re uh, regions so uh, if you will try your level best to compare the climatic conditions of different climatic conditions you will get the better uh, understanding or knowledge of this topic uh, this much for today okay thank you you are watching very patiently this uh, televisions and i thank my uh, technical support of buddha television as well as my colleagues uh, sherchand giri to help in technical support uh, that's uh, all for today thank you have a nice day dhanyawad sabelai